my um, a buddy of ours, old old friend school, or old school friend of ours, uh, had this uh, CRV. We have the truck and trailer ready, and he told us he was gonna sell it. And I told him I wanted to come check it out. He gave me dibs on it first. It's a 2000 Honda CRV. It's in rough shape, but it's still manual and it's still clean title. The story or the thing on it is that he somehow he said he's, he ripped a, a rocker arm and it runs rough on three cylinders. So he needs a windshield. But it's pretty much just dirty. It's missing all the knobs. We have one at home and that's why we decided to get it. Just because we know we have parts laying around 200,000 miles. It's missing this. It's just TLC. We're gonna find out, see if we can make a deal. He did want it $1,200 and we lowered him to a 1,000. He had a lot of bikes in it. So we'll see what he says and negotiate right now. All right, so we have another one we came to look at. This one, they posted it up for 350 bucks. They lost the title, uh, supposedly according to her. It just needs an alternator and uh, just to be cleaned and whatnot. We'll meet her up right now, meet up with her. And then we are going to uh, pretty much pay for it. I mean, so she said it was, it was under her name. She lost the title again, no title but it's under her name and she has proof of registration and uh, uh, ownership. So we'll see what she has to say and probably record after. Wow, be my guess, she owned cats. Other than that, I mean, it's got some little blemish, but not that bad. I've seen worse. I can fix all that. It's been parked for a year, a few years now, 2023, 2021. Hello. Start, but... Yeah, so what exactly happened to it? Um, so I was told the alternator went out, mm -hmm. um, basically it died and I just assumed that the battery had died or whatever and they tried to jump it and it like started but then it died again within like a minute, you know? Right. Um, and so they said it was probably the alternator. So, okay. So you think maybe with the jumper it will probably stay running, we load it up so we have to, I mean I have I don't a, know. I, I have not tried again since then and oh, that was like okay. six months ago. Um, okay. So, hypothetically, I guess you could do the same thing again. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about cars, to be honest. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we'll take it. And, uh, yeah. And as long as I can get a... Do you think I can get a... Uh, Flat out or whatever? Yeah, you can fill that out. Okay. We'll do. go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and try the jumper and see if it starts. Cool. Sounds good.
all right so this thing is dirty this thing is just like a pilot you guys are gonna see what and how it's on the inside that's all uh kitty litter or something like that She said she had a bag and it ripped and then pretty much went everywhere. But it's just dirty. I mean, it's the seats are clean. Everything's all here. It's just dirty. We're going to vacuum all this. By the way, we just replaced the alternator on it. And uh, yeah, the alternator was the issue. Everything works fine. We've been driving it around. Um, things that's wrong with it is as of right now. It needs the front, we don't know if it's the front struts or the stabilizer little bushings for the sway bar link or whatever. So yeah, it's pretty bad. But it's just dirty, it's all here, it's all intact. And it needs tires, you can see? The tires are like... Uh, I don't know if either camera will catch it, but they're like, they're not worn out even. It's, it sounds very bad when you're driving it. It kind of sounds like a differential is bad. So imagine all that at high speed, you can catch it right here. This thing is, they're really, really warped. And it's just that one on that side. I don't know if it's a defective tire or maybe maybe it is because of the struts. That's probably why they're like that. Uh, look at that. I just found myself a dollar. <laughs> so. And some coins. I need picking up all the coins too. So it's just extra money. Put them on the we put them on a cup that we have from all the cars that we have. Uh, the top is kind of clean it's not that mad it's not that bad there's how at least it's not ripped came to the junkyard to look for some minor minor parts you need a wheel uh a wheel cover or a hubcap for a civic we found it and then uh while i was looking for them i came across these and i'm gonna go see how much they want for them it would be a, a good score they look pretty straight they're, they're all here they're not scratched they're dirty but that's about it so I'm gonna go see how much they want for them other than that I didn't record much because uh, it's, it's pretty much the same cars like this one's new it's you know a couple cars that are new but other than that everything's the same we're looking for uh we found a wheel cover and we're looking for uh but other than that nothing nothing special we're gonna see how much they want for these and then we're gonna head back home All right, we found another one. This one they posted it up for for five hundred bucks. Uh, he said he was manual. He said he was manual. He wanted five hundred bucks. He had a ton of calls, messages, and then uh, he said, "If you're willing to give me five fifty, I'll let it go." And we made an appointment. We made an appointment. We made a deal through the phone, and we came over. And it turns out it's not manual. It's automatic. Let me see if I can crank it over.
We got it to start, actually. He says it's been parked for a long time. So we're gonna let it idle for a little bit. Um, like I said, it turns out it's, it's automatic, it's not manual. Uh, and then he has these other two. He wants uh, 1300 bucks for these two. This one has a blown head gasket, typical Subaru. And this one's manual. That's why he said he got confused because this one's manual, that one's automatic. And then he has this nice Lexus. It's like a 2002 uh, Lexus ES300. It's really, really clean on the inside. And yeah. He says he wants a thousand bucks for this one alone. Or uh, he will make a deal of uh, 1300 for both. This one, the only damage, it's you can see this, it's faded from the sun. They're both clean title, they both run. This one overheats, this one, nothing's wrong with it. He says uh, he washed the engine and then it wouldn't start. But he says uh, he's gonna try to start it today. And this one's, this one's somewhat decent clean. Yeah, this one's manual, so that's why he said he thought the CRV was manual. But yeah. And he has a lot more Subarus that way, but I think we had enough of this. Uh, we have enough with this ones. So I'm gonna see if I can come back and buy these other ones. Not sure, but for sure I'm taking this one home. Even though it's, even though it's uh, automatic, it's all-wheel drive, interior's clean, and we made a deal of uh, 350 bucks. So, 350 bucks, clean title. As of right now, it runs. We know the engine's good. It has a misfire, probably spark plugs or I don't know, something else. So, we'll see. So, I'm gonna load it up and head back home and dig into it. All right, we are working on this uh, free Civic. This was a Civic that was abandoned here at the shop and uh, the customer came by and, and dropped off the uh, the title for it. Uh, it is a 99 2000 Civic EX. As you see, it has a sunroof. But at one point, I don't know who, why, or how, but this thing was running with a DX LX engine on it. Uh, it is pretty pretty filthy, but that's what we do. We're gonna pull the engine out, wash the engine bay, and uh, and we have this thing runs. It still starts, but it has a loud a loud knock, and it has a hole in the bottom. So the bottom the bottom end is shot. Uh, I do have a Y8 a Y8 block that's gonna go in it, but now I'm kind of confused because this car's an EX and it has a DX LX harness. So you guys can see there's no VTEC solenoid to it. So they plug this all the way in there uh, and my concern is how is this thing, what ECU does it have in it? If it has the DX ECU, I'm going to leave it alone, I'm going to use this head on that block. But if it has a, if it has a LX, a EX ECU, it's not going to work. Uh, it's always going to be a check engine light. Also the manifold, it sits down here. Uh, so we'll see we'll see what, what what I can do but I have to make it right I want to make it right I want to make this car back to original but there's another issue uh, I don't think I have a 99 2000 uh, Y8 head you got to use the 99 2000 Y8 head because they have a different uh, intake manifold uh, ports so I'm gonna find out see which way I decide to go all right, so I went and I looked at the ECU. The ECU did say it was a, a DX LX ECU, but I found out something else. The car actually is a DX LX model. Uh, the sunroof threw me off, yes, but I can. I started noticing that's an aftermarket sunroof. It's not OEM. 
And then I came in here and you can see, usually they have the buttons there. That's not, that's not a, a, a original sunroof and I can tell the way they cut, the way they did all this. You guys know the original ones, the OEMs, they have a sliding piece here. So that's weird. Oh, actually the buttons over here for the sunroof open and close. That's crazy whoever did that. It looks factory, but it's not. Yeah. So yeah, the car is a LX, LX DX. Uh, I believe it's probably the LX because it has a, it's got a electric, oh, there's a title. Yeah, 2000 Honda Civic, so it's a clean title too, so. So we're gonna go ahead and fix it. The only damage on this car, the only, the only thing that looks bad, it's that. But the way, the way, uh, prices are right now i don't think someone someone's gonna care much about how it looks uh i do have that fender but the fender's not really that bad it's the door itself i think at one point they, the door got over stretched mm -hmm. they opened it too much but other than that it's a free civic it's a free civic and we are going to get it back in the road we were gonna oh there it is it is alex i didn't even catch that the trunk was open um it's all here it's just dirty i mean it would look like it was just a work car field car or i don't know but it's pretty dirty pretty filthy but once it's all washed and uh we throw that bottom end it sucks because that bottom end it's a y8 came out from that silver coupe outside i mean that silver sedan on the back and this one ran good in slow miles it ran but it seemed like it had overheating issues uh so but it still ran fine and it was given to me as, as, as well. They left it here. That's the one they called me and they said if I wanted it. And uh, I said, sure, why not? So they dropped it off and yeah, has a good engine and I've been selling some parts off of it too. So these are all freebies, just free stuff. Uh, like I said, this one was abandoned and they didn't want to fix it. And they just came over and dropped the title and they said, you can have it, man. We know it's been there for a long time and you know, we're not gonna do nothing with it. We'll just go ahead and let you have it. So we're gonna try to fix this. Like I said, we're gonna. I'm not gonna record much. I'm probably just gonna record once it's done. And uh, yeah, and probably after we sell it, I'll keep you guys updated how much it sold for. I, I was thinking of uh, posting it up for like 1,800 bucks. Settle for 15. Uh, the interior, it's all there. It's just dirty, but we're gonna detail it. 